get into the music. Play some synth. All right. What was that? I just have music playing in my ears right now and it sounds amazing. All right, so welcome back. Welcome back to another one. I hope everyone has their unidentifiable liquid. I got mine in a big old glass here while this music is pumping. I'm listening to that new Harris Heller stream beats. Yeah, I wanna check that out. It is copyright free from what he says, so. Check it out. All right. So we are back with the next part. If you haven't seen part one, I explained the parts that we are using and what they are meant to do. Please check it out before you watch this one. If you're wondering what, what the other parts do, what the motherboard is, what the CPU the processor is, what RAM is, what power supplies are different types, you know, stuff like that. I, I go into a little bit of detail there. So you want to go check that out. It is in part one. So this is part two. This is me building the, 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 the PC itself. So please go check it out. Okay. Well, before I start getting into it, I do stream every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. Saturday is kind of like optional to me. Uh, it all depends, you know, what like what we're doing if we're streaming something that is recorded to YouTube if people are asking for stuff like that so you want to go check me out all the links are down below with my twitch uh, with my Facebook and on YouTube so I stream on all three uh, it, it's just a relaxing time and uh, you know we're just it's not even about the gameplay uh, I try to I try to talk to everybody so let's get back into it and start building this thing uh obviously you're not gonna see me build it like in real time like right now like you know i'm talking to you uh, since i have already built it let's get back into it and start building this thing step one take out your motherboard the motherboard that we are using it was the msi x570 a pro I did have to replace. Now the one that I'm using uh, is the ASUS Tough Gaming X570 board. Uh, this is the Wi-Fi version. Just really quick, I'm not gonna get into it too much. I did have to replace it because it was faulty. I could not figure out what was wrong with this board. All right, so like I said, step one, take out your motherboard, put it on top of an anti-static work area. The box is a good platform to work on. Step two, install your CPU on the motherboard socket. Line up the golden corner with the arrow on motherboard socket. All right, step three. Install your RAM sticks. Match the dim slots for, for my motherboard dim slot A2 and B2 are the dual chamber that should be used if you only have two sticks. Since we have four, we just install all four into all the all four dim slots. Step four. Install the M.2 SSD for our instance. That's what we have. So with your motherboard comes with M.2 screws. These M.2 screws are very tiny on my motherboard. There's two slots that I can install into it. It varies, you know, for motherboards. I use the one with the heat shield to protect it a little bit more from the heat. Your motherboard may vary. Once you connect your SSD screw in the M.2 screw to hold the SSD in place. Step five, install your CPU heat sink. Install the proper backplate for your heat sink to sit on, right? 
it, it varies with uh different amd have different back plate than the intel one uh some aio coolers have different you know it all varies uh so the wraith cooler or stealth cooler I, i'm not completely sure which one mine has but the amd cpu heatsink hooks on the default back plate that comes with the motherboard already and then next squeeze some thermal paste that comes with either your cpu or your motherboard on top of your processor now third-party heat sinks come with their own back plate so you will have to take off the back plate that comes pre-installed onto your motherboard and install the proper back plate for your heat sink Step six, find your IO shield that comes with your motherboard and install it on your case. Step seven, now place your motherboard in your case. It's better to work on your case laying down after screwing your motherboard with the hardware that comes with your motherboard. Now your case might differ depending on the form factor of your case, meaning you will probably need to install the proper female screws on your case to fit your motherboard. ATX form factor at motherboard are pretty standard with ATX size cases, so usually it's already pre-installed. Okay, step eight. Let's install the fans. And I should, I, you should take this with a grain of salt. I usually do this, but if depending on your case, if your if your fans are gonna be in the way of some connections, maybe install your connections first before you put on the fans, but usually they should be fine. So let's install the fans. Plan your, in your intake and exhaust. Normally exhaust usually goes to the back or the top of the case. And the intakes usually go on the front or in my case on the side of the case. Now on the fans, there's usually arrows on the frame showing where the flow would go to. Check your fans and use the screws that come with your fans. All right. Step nine, install the power supply. We have a fully modular one, so I will be installing it with just the wires I need. Now your case may vary on where it will go. On my case, the power supplies goes in the back. Use the four screws that come with your PSU or your motherboard. All right, let's go to step 10, wiring. The least favorite part of most builders. Now it's time to run the wires to your motherboard. So from your power supply, you will need a CPU wire the motherboard 24 pin connector, a GPU wire and SATA wire if you have need of them. Obviously, if you're gonna go with the M.2 form factor SSD, then you won't need cables for that. So connect the 24 pin, which will power the motherboard. Next, the CPU connector, which is usually on top of the motherboard. The fans will be connecting to the system fan headers from your motherboard sometimes a fan hub and the cpu cooler will connect to the cpu header the front headers of your case can vary mine in particular is just a usb3 connector one power switch connector and hd audio and type c header now look at your motherboard manual for where these headers are for all motherboards are a little bit different step 11 the GPU installation, the graphics card. I left this for last since it sometimes block headers, which is better to install the wires first. So you don't have to do uh, to work around the GPU, at least to me. So the GPU will go on the PCIe slot and it's usually better to install it on the top slot, which has more pins usually, right? So it has, you know, the, the faster X16 or whatever it is. Don't forget to run your PCIe power wire from the PSU to the GPU. So from the power supply to the graphics card. Step 12, optional, RGB. Everybody has their opinion on RGB. That is up to you if you wanna 
you know have a bunch of rgb in your in your case you just have to do a little bit more work for it i personally don't like all the wires that rgb brings but the colors are so nice right so if you have it make sure you have the uh, rgb headers on your motherboard this will enable you to be able to control the colors with the software that you will use if not you will probably be using a controller that gets attached somewhere on your case step 13 booting the pc this is the test i usually don't close the case until i know everything works well and it is a good habit to have since you might need to do some troubleshooting so once you have everything connected i should first mention connect the power to an outlet your display to your graphics card and your peripherals mouse keyboard etc okay now flip the switch on your power supply to on then hit the power button on your case wait till you see a post sometimes it takes a good minute or two if you don't see a post after two minutes then start looking for loose components sometimes the motherboard will have led lights that will indicate what is it what is the issue either the cpu ram boot or gpu right if you have boot then it will show the bio screen on here you just make sure your hardware is being read do not mess with any overclocking of any kind as of now. This will keep you from booting properly when you install your operating system. Step 14. The operating system. You should have an operating system ready, either USB or disk. Uh, I will be showing things with Windows 10. In your BIOS system, boot from the drive that has the operating system. Go through the steps of installing Windows 10. I recommend to not accept all the utilities that Windows gives you, but that is personal preference. It will ask to connect to the internet, which is up to you. I don't usually, but you can. It will ask for your license key. Use it if you have it. If you don't, then it will run the ba basic version of Windows 10, which eventually you're gonna get a watermark on the bottom right of your screen that says activate Windows. Step 15. Now, this one is important. Update your drivers for all your components, meaning your graphics card drivers, your motherboard drivers, and update Windows 10 to the current version, which will help your PC run smoother. I can't stress this enough. Okay, now, I think that's it. I didn't mention the hard drive, the hard drive, how to install it. And I should, really is very simple. You do need a, a SATA transfer cable, SATA data transfer cable, and a SATA power, power wire, I guess you can call it. And I mounted this on the back of my case. If I have footage, I'll show it right now. The HDD, the HDD, which is the hard drive. And this is the same concept for SSD, the 2.5, the 2.5 SSDs. If I have footage of it, I will show it. Uh, I'm, I'm just, I should have just said it, you know, during the time of uh, when I was talking about the SSD, I probably have to edit that in. So that's pretty much it. You know, optional things you could is benchmark your PC using 3D Mark to see how well it performs. And you can head into your BIOS to push your RAM to the proper speeds. As you see, it's usually called X XMP profile, but it may differ depending on your motherboard. Next part will be the water cooling process. So stay, stay tuned for that. So I'm just going to plug real quick, real quick. You know, come check out my stream. I do stream on all three three platforms, which is Twitch, uh, Facebook, and and uh, and YouTube. You know, so stop by and say hi. Usually, it's Monday, Wednesdays, Friday, and Saturdays. And uh, also, also, if you want to keep up to date with uh, some of the stuff that I do, I do have Twitter. It is on the description down below. Yeah, so the parts that I'm using, I will try to put them on the description down below if you want to, if you want to do something like this as well. So I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something from this. And if you did, like I said, I, I've, I've done my job. So even if one person learned from this, you know, then I'm happy with that. You know, if you have any questions like this, man, just hop into the stream. I, I'll be happy to answer anything. So anyways, until the next one. Later, friends.